What's up guys? So it's been about a year since we've done an Ashes of Creation update video and the reason is there's just been a lot of delays in Ashes of Creation. There hasn't been much to talk about honestly with this game because the game in my opinion is still about four years away. Yes that may be shocking to some people and with all the hype that has been going around with streamers and YouTubers uh, like the anticipation was at an all-time high. They got a ton of new backers. They got a ton of people that were like, hey, I want to buy Alpha 1. I want to get into Alpha 1. I want to play this game right now. How can I play this game? Well, the answer is you can't. You can't buy Alpha 1 Access. They're potentially thinking about it. Like, it's a potential thought. But I don't think it's a great idea because they already have, like, a 1,000 plus people in Alpha 1. Maybe 10,000 plus people. I don't know the exact number, but they have a lot of people. If you look at the Kickstarter and you can look at like backer sales, they don't have any information on the backer sales that they've done, the monthly sales. But just on the Kickstarter, you can see how many people have Alpha 1 access, and it's a good amount of people. It's a good chunk of people. So like I don't know if they want any more people to be in these alphas. So the preview here, a lot of people thought that Alpha 1, no NDA was happening in 2020. Uh, I don't know if they specifically said anything like that or anything, but what we have here is their new dates. And you have to take these all with a huge grain of salt because they've never made any date that they've publicly announced. They've never actually hit those dates. Even this director's letter that they sent out was delayed and missed the official date that they proposed. So they delayed the announcement of the announcement of the dates. Like, you see what I'm getting at here? Anyway, so let's look at the dates. December 18th to December 21st is a four-day in no or NDA playtest with all the Braver of Worlds, which are the $1,000 plus packards, and the Intrepid pack holders. So the people that bought the monthly package that had Alpha 1 uh, available to them. So pretty much anyone that's paid over $1,000 plus has access to the Alpha 1 playtest here for four days, and it is under an NDA. NDAs will be sent out prior to the test. Uh, as a standard procedure, don't break your NDA. You'll get kicked out of the game. You'll lose your accounts. Like They're very strict on not breaking your NDA. Then we have another four-day preview. All the way about two months later in February of February 19th to February 22nd. So they talk a little bit in the letter here. I'm not going to go over like read word by word on the letter. I'll just give you skim notes of it. They say that they're going to have a lot to bug fix during these alpha tests. So that's why they're scattered out, you know, months apart and they're going to be fixing things. They're still working on core designs, core elements of the game. And a lot of things are changing and they're going to change based on player feedback as well. So that's why they are scattered. So again, a four-day playtest under an NDA once again. Then March 19th to March 26th, we finally have the no NDA playtest. This is where you'll be able to see, you know, raw gameplay footage of the Alpha 1. And all of the official content creators are going to have access as well. So no longer is it exclusive to the $1,000 plus players that can just jump in. Now all the content creators that are officially you know, noted by Intrepid Studio will have access. At this point, you're going to see tons and tons of gameplay footage. Up until this point, you're only going to see gameplay footage from Intrepid Studios themselves. They said there will at least some video footage of, you know, the playtest in some form. So they're just going to make sure it's nice, clean, polished, as good as possible. It's going to be like the mount video that they showed in 4K and everything. Like, they want it to be as, as you know, badass as possible. They're not going to show you the bugs, the issues, because they don't want you to see that stuff. That's why it's an NDA. This one, they're hoping, knocking on wood, that it's in decent enough condition where they can show it off. And I wouldn't be surprised if any of these dates change. Like I said earlier, they've missed dates on everything so you've got to take all these dates with a grain of salt and then for some giant reason now they're calling this next one alpha one so all the other ones are just previews this is the real alpha one where, where most of the systems should be done everything that we're kind of ha hoping in the game will maybe be in the game at this point don't know uh but it's gonna be a month-long play test and yeah 
all the Alpha One players, all the content creators, everyone that spent a thousand plus dollars is going to have access. This is not going to in- include anyone else. So uh, there's no way to jump into this. But you're looking at a, a six month schedule here, which is very, very telling. Because I've always told people that the game is probably about four years away from launching. And this reiterates that fact. They're taking six months here. Best case scenario. This is best case scenario to reach Alpha 1, do the testing. It's going to end May 6th if everything goes according to plan. Now they're going to have to reiterate and fix polish. And then the next step is Alpha 2. Because if you remember on the Kickstarter, they sold packages that had Alpha 1 access. Some packages had Alpha 2 access. And then I believe it went down to Beta 1, Beta 2, and I believe it went down to even Beta 3 was before a launch date. So not only do they have to get through all of this, then they go to an Alpha 1, then they, I mean Alpha 2, then they go into a Beta. Then they have to do a Beta 1, a Beta 2, and a Beta 3. You're looking at, say, every one of those periods is six months. You're looking at at least 2023 for this game to launch. Let that sink in. 2023 for this game to launch. I know a lot of people are anticipating this game to come out, you know, next year. No, there is no way in hell that this game is coming out next year. This right here should give you a clear indication that this game is nowhere near ready. They're still in alpha. They are going to be in alpha well into this 2021 year. And this is best case scenario, guys. I cannot hammer that point in. Best case scenario, these dates. They have not hit any of the dates that they've ever set out. Remember that. They've not hit any of the dates that they've ever set out. So you have to take this with a huge grain of salt. Hopefully this happens. I am a huge backer of this game. I want this game to succeed, but I am a realist. I believe the game probably won't come out until 2024. That is my estimation. If the game comes out earlier and is in a good enough shape, then I'll be pleasantly surprised. If the game comes out in 24, I'm just like, hey, that's what I anticipated. That's what I expected comes out later then you obviously get pissed off you're like damn it this game took you know eight years nine years to make this sucks like i don't even want to play this game anymore type thing that's going to happen as a lot of people realize the game is so far away they're like oh i backed it three years ago what happened at least it's not camelot unchained that's the only big thing that you can say is at least it's not camelot unchained where they just took your money and the company pretty much exploded after, what, nine years, ten years of development, and just, yeah. So, it does look great. I am eagerly anticipating the day where we can actually show gameplay footage and play and have a nice, smooth experience. Let me know, are you guys excited for Ashes of Creation still, or are you disappointed now that the dates have been set and that the game clearly is several years away?